Hi everyone, my name is Fanny and I'm really excited to share with you my Stackathon project. Um, so my project is called What's Happening and it's a smart Facebook Messenger chatbot that I named Eve. Uh, and it uses AI language processing to suggest nearby, use, nearby events to its users. Okay, so I uh, made this bot using Node Express as its server, uh, the Facebook Messenger client, API.ai, a AI language processing software, and the Eventbrite API, which is a RESTful API that I used as a source for the events. So I'm just going to jump right into the demo. Okay, so uh, this is our What's Happening bot named Eve. So I am going to type into here a message. Um, so let's say, hi Eve, I'm looking for a children's event um, because let's say my little cousins are in town visiting and I want to search in New York City. So let's see what Eve finds for us. Okay, so she's thinking. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> so, um, we can click into it and it'll take us to the Eventbrite um, page for this event. And it looks like it's for an Early Learn NYC event. Not quite what I was looking for, but we can go back and um, ask E for another event. Okay, so let's say I actually am looking for a concert in Boston. So actually, I'm looking for a concert in Boston. Let's see what she finds for us. Oh, cool. A tango concert with Orchesta Bajo Fondo. <laughs> All right, um, cool. So. Now, it knows to pick these events out for us because it uh, looks for intent keywords that the user um, has in its text. So right now, I've set up API.ai to look out for a few in intent keywords, such as concert, live band, art show, and a couple others. But if I search for something that Eve doesn't recognize, she'll send a default response asking for um, an activity or a city. Um, so let's come up with an activity that Eve might not know. Any ideas? <laughs> running? Around, yeah. Oh, running. OK, in New York. Yes. OK. Um, Eve, help me find running routes in New York City. What type of acti activity? So <laughs> Eve doesn't know what we're talking about. Let's try that again. Nope. No idea. So that's one thing that I actually want to uh, change in the future. I want to add um, a couple more intent keywords so that um, API.ai um, can help the user find uh, more activities um, and also so that the user can uh, narrow down the search and um, return events that they're actually looking for. So I am going to get back into the slides. All right. And a couple challenges that I had was understanding how to link the different platforms together and understanding how to link Facebook Messenger, API.ai, and the Eventbrite API with my server and getting the data, manipulating it, and sending it where it needs to go. Um, while I was working on this project, I learned a lot about webhooks, and that is really um, the brains here, and it's really how um, the chatbot knows how to have a real-time conversation with the customer. Um, webhooks work like a regular HTTP request, and when triggered, the source server will make an HTTP request to another server, which is, um, which I show, oops, hang on. <laughs> OK, here we go, which I made in a diagram. Um, I'm not going to really get into it, um, but as you can see here, if you follow the arrows, the information gets uh, sent to API.ai, back to the node server, and then back to Eventbrite. And um, the, the node server 
deals with all of that information and then sends it back to uh, Facebook um, and then that gets sent back to our customer um, at Messenger. So some of the tools and resources I used um, were a blog, uh, a blog tutorial by Girlie Mac and she does a really great simple um, chatbot tutorial um, that really helped me get started on the project. Um, and thank you. If you want to check out my chatbot, it will be deployed soon, um, as soon as Facebook approves it. Um, hopefully in the next couple days or weeks, who knows. And if you'd like, you can also check out the slides where you can take a look at my diagram and also check out my blog where I'll be making a post. Thank you. <laughs>